The first task is to catch a tiger shark. Overnight, Kim Holland's team put down 30 hooks, two miles off Honolulu, Hawaii. This morning, 10 sharks are on the lines. It looks painful, but Holland insists that this method of capture is not harmful to the sharks. Large sharks make a living by feeding on other animals which have got spines all over them. Oftentimes in the gum you'll find complete stingray barbs embedded in the gum tissue. So having something very sharp and toxic even in your mouth is something that sharks experience almost every day. In fact, there is a myth that sharks have such high immunity that they don't get cancer. It's not true, but sharks' resistance to infection is impressively high. And yet something as simple as turning it upside down is its Achilles heel. Once on its back, it lapses into a state of tonic immobility. Holland's team uses this peculiarity to their benefit. It's not simple, but they flip one of the hook sharks over. Once it's done, the shark completely relaxes and seemingly goes to sleep. But very quickly, they realize there's a problem with the first fish. It's got a stainless steel long line hook that has caused a festering wound. We only use normal black metal hooks, which even if we have to leave it in the fish, it'll Ready? rust away and fall out. So this fish already had a hook in it before we caught it. The safety of the animal is paramount, so the team removes the hook and lets this one go.